Hello and welcome to the next video and in this one we'll set up the orientation warping for our locomotion system so here's the end result would be so if I am moving and there is any object in front of us you can see my lower body uh, rotates towards the velocity direction and uh, it looks so cool while moving so let's get started guys so for that I'm gonna open up my animation blueprint so here's my animation blueprint I need to go to my base locomotion layer so here's my current uh, locomotion functionality so for the last loco uh, state machine I'm gonna promote this to a cache I'm gonna call this final final pause cache and now I'm gonna get my final pause cache over here and I need to search for warping so here's my orientation warping so uh, in order to get these nodes make sure you go to edit plugins and make sure you have set up the a locomotion library modifier library these plugins or oh sorry animation warping this plugin should be enabled in order to get this uh, orientation warping functionality or not so I'm gonna connect it over here all right so here's our orientation warping so in order to uh, properly rotate our lower body towards the desired velocity direction we need to set up some properties so for that uh, first thing I'm gonna do is, is set the evaluation mode to graph so that we don't need to do any manual work for setting the orientation warping uh, node so I'm gonna set the evaluation mode to graph and next that we'll have set we need to set up the spine bones and the IK bones so if I go to my skeleton hierarchy, here is my spine bones. One, two, three, four, five. These are my spine bones. So I'm gonna add five bones in my spine bones category and put the spine one, two, three, four, and five respectively. So the next part is setting up the IK bones, which is really interesting. So if I am gonna open my animations and let's say i open the job any animation so currently i don't have any ik bones animating in any of my animation sequence you can see these are just statics and it is by decision that so that i can show you that how to use prop orientation mapping or any node any ik functionality without using ik bones so in order to fix this uh, fix this issue we need to use the virtual bones as so you might have also any other different skeleton where IK bones are not animating or different animations you might have different animation where the IK bones are not animating so this solution this virtual bone solution will work for all the cases so for that I need to select my root right click and add a virtual bond for my root I'm gonna call this VB root and next thing we need our bo we need a bone for our left foot and right foot both i'm gonna right click for with a uh, root bone and add virtual bone for my foot r i'm gonna call this vb foot underscore r and we need one more bone with same parent vb root for foot l foot l underscore L. so now you guys you can see we have these three nodes are uh, in the skeleton so now if I close the skeleton open the animation you can see I have the virtual bones animating in all of my animation sequences so this will behave as like the IK bones so we don't need to worry about any uh, we need don't need to worry about IK bones anymore so for setting up the IK bones 
we need to set up these uh, set these up virtual bonds so i'm gonna for root bond i'm gonna search for vb root and for ik bonds add two bonds for our one for our vb foot r and one for our vb foot l there we go so now we have all the properties set up in our orientation warping node so let's say if i give a 45 degree hard code angle and see the results so here you can see you can uh, notice multiple things uh, let me show you so first thing is i have intentionally set the graph mode uh, evaluation mode to graph so by default it is on manual manual state so you can see in manual if i put the 45 degree hard code angle you can see my all the animations idle all becomes uh, 45 degree towards right here you can notice because it is a manual process we need to put we need to calculate all the uh, all the values manually for example if they we are in idle state our orientation angle should be zero if we are in running uh, we need to update the angle uh, for running walking etc so that's why i put the evaluation to graph mode so this will give us uh, results uh, differently because this will evaluate the node while in graph mode so here you can notice our minimum root uh, motion speed threshold currently it's 10 so if whenever our speed becomes greater than 10 uh, only at that case we need to perform the orientation warping and here's the angle threshold and we have also the max angle offset so let's set the max angle offset to 60 and i'm gonna also put the mean rotation speed to let's say 45 or 20 maybe so now if i hit play and you can notice currently i'm in idle state so the orientation angle is zero so when i'm moving you can notice my speed becomes greater than 20 the legs and the lower body rotates towards the 45 degree right so now we need to put the uh, exact angle where our our velocity is so for that i'm gonna go to my event graph and here we have the blueprint let's say function where we can uh, calculate our velocity acceleration and speed variables so over here i'm gonna search for calculate direction node we need to put the velocity i'm gonna put it over here and for the base rotation i'm gonna search for property access and if i get pawn owner and get ba get actor rotation so by putting these uh, inputs uh, we'll have the desired uh, direction variable i'm going to promote this variable i call this direction so now we have the direction variable set up and now if i connect the print string and print the direction value you can notice when i'm moving right left when i'm moving in any direction the value becomes positive or negative depending on where i am moving so now our direction variable is properly set up we just need to put this variable in our locomotion angle for the orientation warping node so here is our orientation warping angle is set up so now if i hit play and you can notice my lower body rotates towards the velocity direction because there's an there's an object in front of us and this also looks really a uh, good and uh, really natural that our body rotates towards the desired input direction so uh, this is the orientation warping node uh, so let me ch uh, change and uh, discuss uh, more properties so if i set the distribution bone alpha to one and you will notice 
that my lower body is fully rotates towards the desired input direction see it's uh, fully 90 minus 90 so I'm gonna set this to in between let's say 0 0.75 or let's say 0 0.5 would be fine and here we have the rotation interrupt speed we can also change that I'm gonna change this to 5 and let me let's see so here you can see the lower body rotates with proper interrupt speed and also with proper angle so that's it for this video guys uh, this is the orientation warping functionality for our locomotion system so i hope you guys like this video and in the next one we'll set up the stride warping so that whenever our speed becomes uh, our speed decreases our stride length also decreases so see you in the next one thanks